What is going on guys, Chris here, and I have waited all day for this thing to come, so it is currently like, what, 8.04, 8.34, I don't know, but here we are, the Razer Wolverine Ultimate Edition, and I actually, you know, was looking for a new controller since February, since my Elite broke, so I might as well unbox it. I would have gotten the Tournament Edition, but I don't know, I wanted the Ultimate, so here we go. Oh, there you go. Might as well have to hold it up. Hey, welcome to the Cult of Razor. Okay, we're getting into some ritual here. I know you can't see that well. That's why I think it's blocking it, but it comes in a case similar to the Elite. So, there's the case for all of you. Uh, we're gonna put that aside. We're gonna see what else is in this box. Oh, something just detached. Detached. Oh, there's a cable. Oh. Here it is. Cable. I apologize for my shitty camera work. Alright, here's, and here's the cable. Uh, it's just normal USB. Like, uh, there's a cover on it. Oh, right. Yep, it's just normal USB. Which is fine, but, you know, maybe once the Xbox Series X comes out and uh, PlayStation 5, they'll start to use more USB-C type of stuff. But, uh, yeah. All right, so we have this little guide right here. Oh no, well this is a letter. There's the guide in the back. No. <gasps> yeah, stickers, let's go. I can put it on my laptop. <laughs> yes, we're part of the Razer uh, world right now, so might as well enjoy it. <laughs> All right, and now the main thing you want to get into is the case. Um, this case is pretty soft, I gotta say. Wow. It's, it, I mean, it's kind of similar to the Elite one. Um, hold on, wait. Let me grab it real quick. All right, so here is my Elite case. Obviously, the, I don't have the Elite controller. I have my regular Xbox controller because why not? I put the all the Elite parts on here except for the paddles because you can't, can't use them. But it does work pretty fine. So, yeah. But as you can see in comparison, okay, might as well turn on the light here. Uh, they're pretty... I guess similar in size. I mean, they do have different textures though. This one's kind of like a scratchy type of material. This one is like very soft. And I like how the Racer logo is in there. Ooh, that feels pretty nice. Well, the Xbox logo is like kind of cut as well. So yeah, so let's waste more, no more time. Let's open this. All right, here we go. Three, two, one. Oh man, it looks so much better than per in person. Then on, you know, looking at videos on it. Uh, remove protective film. Oh, there's protective film here. But my goodness, look at that. Look at that. Wow. I'm not gonna lie, this actually feels pretty good even though I'm holding it with one hand. It does feel pretty good. I know that these buttons are like mechanical clips. I'll let you hear if you can. Yeah. And also these are mechanical too. Damn. <laughs> wow. It's actually pretty awesome. And then there on the ultimate edition, you actually have six buttons, these two and these like four like paddles or whatever. But on the tournament edition, which I'll show a picture of right now, you have like two buttons or pretty much four buttons all together, but two on the back. So <laughs> yeah. And also you have this like little headset thing, so you can adjust, switch profiles, um, you know, mute your mic, and all of that. And I'm pretty sure, yeah, this has interchangeable thumbsticks, so that's good. Oh, what the hell? They're a little bit, what the frick, I can't get them on. Okay, they're on now, but they feel a lot more like, like <laughs> magnetor than the Elite version. So, you also get a few thumbstick choices here get their tall thumbstick. I actually use this on my regular controller. So that would be good for first person shooters. You have an extra D-pad here. And you also have another, or well, you have a concave stick there. So yeah, I gotta say it, it looks like a nice controller. I know there's RGBs that go around this little Xbox button. So, oh, cannot wait to use this on Battlefield and Rainbow Six. I might try it out with some racing games too, but Pretty much, yeah. But I have to say, this controller feels amazing. 
So good job, Razer, for creating such a great controller. Damn. So that is it, guys, for this Razer Wolverine Ultimate Edition unboxing. Hopefully you enjoyed. Cannot wait to start using this controller. I'm actually going to go start using it now. But if you enjoy, make sure to drop a like, subscribe as well, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.